Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, Cross Watchers, welcome to your November 2021 love reading. I hope you are all doing well. We are going to get into it right away here. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the overall theme and energies for you for the month of November. I just want to quickly remind you that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Not all messages may be for you. And then I am simply reading energy, so please feel free to swap the roles. I could be talking about you or your person. And then lastly, I am doing extended once again, so if this reading happens to resonate with you and you would like to follow me over to the extended, keep watching at the end because I'm going to go and uh, go ahead and give you a preview of that extended as well as go over everything that will be included in that reading. So let's get started here. Let's grab the overall human energy for you. For this month. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. All right. So you may have some Aries in your chart or you may be dealing with someone who has Aries in their chart. However, that is not necessary. Let's grab another, another card here for my Libras. You show me the messages that need to be seen. Balance. I am liking this. So this card is equivalent to temperance in the typical uh, rider weight deck. So I am sensing that there is a situation that will be getting balanced out uh, this month in some way, shape, or form. Or someone is trying to figure out how to take action towards a situation to balance things out, you know, balance the scales here. Let's pull a couple more before we get into it with tarot. Use the romance angels here. And with this representing uh, temperance in the typical Rider Waite deck, uh, some of you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Maybe your person does, but that's not necessary. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you may be talking to someone here, maybe, whoops, so several wanted to pop out. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So what I'm sensing here, Libra, is someone could have pulled back their energy. Someone could have retreated just as you two were getting to know each other. Um, I'm sensing that there may have been some fears and someone may be coming back in here to balance things out, okay? Um, we do have new love at the bottom of the deck, so this could be a newer person in your life, or this is about starting a new cycle with someone here. So I'm really liking that energy for you this month so far. But with this, it's time to take action. There's definitely this sense of getting out of stagnation for some of you you may be hearing from someone that you just you really won't be expecting or this could be you taking action towards someone but we'll see but for many of you um i mean for some of you you could just be getting to know this person but for others of you this could actually be a retreat where you and this individual aren't talking right now but if you are this is simply about retreating to think about you know how you want to move forward or with this retreat it could be you two retreating from the rest of the world after spending some time so i'm just giving this a shuffle even though everything is pre-shuffled here so let's get the tarot spread out. What's going on here? Please show me the messages that need to be seen. The devil in the reverse. Okay, we'll take two of these. We'll take these both. Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Chariot representing you, Cancerian energy. 
Ten of Cups, Libra. What's going on here? I'm loving this energy. So it does look like things are being balanced out here um, throughout this month. So before we get into clarifying, I do want to go over what I am seeing. Uh, we do have Nine of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So there could have been some anxiety around this situation some fears about going towards what it is that someone really wants. Um, six of wands with the devil in the reverse. This is almost going for something unapologetically, you know, releasing some fears about what it is that you really want and going in for victory. And I'm really, really liking that. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, someone could have not been able to make a decision or feel like they could properly weigh things out. There could have been some mismanagement of priorities in the past, okay? Uh, with the Chariot, this is willpower and determination going towards something. And with the Knight of Wands in the reverse representing your person, we really do need to clarify this here. Uh, but someone previously could have pulled the brakes on something. There could have been some in and out energy that led to this retreat, but I do need to clarify this. Um, someone could be feeling like going for that victory very impulsively at this time. Like they just want to just like go for it because it feels right. It feels good. But whatever happens here this month, it is leading to this emotional fulfillment between you and your person with this 10 of cups energy. So that's what I'm seeing here so far. We're going to get into clarifying and then we'll dive deep. All right, Libras, let's get into this. So there is this sense, like I said of going for something unapologetically this month, going for something, releasing fears, or going towards something that where there may be some fears, but doing it anyways, okay? And it's almost this sense of with this Queen of Cups energy, and you could be dealing with a water sign, however, that's not necessary. We also have Capricorn energy with the devil in the reverse. But it's almost the sense of someone getting in touch with their emotions here. And I'm just sensing that someone, it could be you or your person, but you may or possibly your person could have been focusing on the ha uh, glass half empty rather than full, okay, at some point. But this is almost like getting yourself together, realizing that not all is lost, finding that emotional balance, feeling balanced, not only emotionally, but logically, but also connecting to your intuition and really going for something here. Okay, and I'm really, really loving this. I'm really loving this energy. I do want to pull an oracle card for this just to get a little bit more information. optimism yes this is exactly what i was really sensing here you know like really looking at things in a more positive light but also in a more accurate light it's not like false optimism but even noticing with the devil in the reverse that you or your person uh, may be realizing this uh, of you know themselves or holding themselves back or maybe this could be you but it's really like putting things to rest that no longer serve this connection, that no longer feel in alignment. Because maybe there were reasons to feel negatively about a situation in the past or, you know, some sadness, but letting go, you know, leaving the past in the past and moving forward here. I'm really, really liking this energy. I do want to pull, let's see, what do I want to do here? We'll use these cards. All 
I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So you and this individual may be coming back together this month from something that happened previously, or this could be a newer person. Um, you know, take what resonates here. But this is this. There's like a, a huge sem sense of optimism this month coming in regarding this connection. And someone may have had some fears in the past about this, especially because, you know, it, all of our relationships and the people that we connect with, um, they all transpire at different speeds, right? Some of us, these connections just move forward very quickly and then other ones are more stagnant. But what I'm feeling here is that regardless of how this has been playing out, Someone has been trying to make a decision, okay, about what to do. But I'm also feeling like in the past, someone was very focused on themselves. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Eight of Pentacles, okay? And they may have not really prioritized this connection. It made them come off very rigid, stuck in their ways. They could have been very dry with communication. Maybe you barely, you know felt like they were very communicative with you. For some of you, this person could have just decided to focus on themselves and cut you off or you felt like communication came to a stop where you needed to walk away, right? That's what I'm really sensing here. And if it's not that, it was just like this person couldn't make up their mind what it is that they wanted to do. But for most of you, I'm still really feeling that this individual was just very stuck in their ways and just focusing on themselves okay there is a bit of selfish energy here and it felt like this person really just wasn't coming towards you because with the knight of pentacles in the reverse when he's upright this is a very very slow he's the slowest knight in the deck but when it's in the reverse it's like he's off the horse he's not even moving and so there could have been gaps in communication or communication that just kind of came to a close altogether. But something, you know, you're going to have to connect the dots here because this is a general reading, but it's almost like this person is deciding to either come back in or if this is a new person, you may have felt them being a bit distant with you even in the beginning and now there is more of like this straightforward decision of how they want to approach things let's grab an oracle here not enough fr frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego is issues jealousy yeah, so someone could have sabotaged this connection in the past. Someone may have felt like they were not good enough, you know, really lacked confidence, felt like maybe they even needed to work on themselves. Or this individual could have made you feel like you weren't, you know, good enough and it brought frustration upon you due to how this person was acting. There could have been some, you know, fear issues as well, especially since we did see that nine of uh, swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck which signifies that someone could be getting out of that energy i want to pull an oracle right here right away With this wedding rings union wedding married soul connection eternal love lasting promise so the thing is here, though, is someone is still looking at this connection, okay? They're looking at it curiously as the emperor, and the emperor doesn't play checkers, he plays chess. So he's very strategic in his moves and what it is that he wants to do. He introduces, you know, authority, structure. He's basically the father of the tarot. He can make the tough decisions, even when emotionally they may not feel so good. Uh, he's very disciplined too and wanting to just make the right decisions do the right things uh, with the queen of pentacles in the reverse someone especially with this page of swords someone may be still overthinking a little bit here it could be you or your person 
okay? Because there is this energy to move forward in this sense of optimism, you know, going for what it is that someone really wants. But someone also needs to step out of this energy of overthinking. This is just for some of you, just for some of you, but I got this random intuitive message that someone has decided that they want to move forward with you, but if there was like a lingering third party in the background here, they may be trying to figure out what to do. I don't want to say what to do with this person, but like how to deal with the situation. I don't know why I got that. Because I'm sensing this person might not want drama here. They might want to go about things in the, you know, just a way that wouldn't lead to that. Or someone could be married here and they may need to deal with that. But there is this all, there's also this sense of someone wanting, like they know they want to move forward here with you. But they could be overthinking it. That's what I'm getting for the most of you if there is no other, you know, person that's involved here you know any sort of third party but it's almost the sense of overthinking and feeling like they're you know questioning if they're ready to do this if it's the right decision because i'm still sensing with this queen of pentacles in the reverse this person they're really just used to putting themselves first and they may have found some comfort in doing that. But by doing that, it threw off balance within this connection. And this person knowing that if they wanted to actually move towards, you know, union, something long lasting, they would need to sacrifice parts of themselves in order to do that. Okay. But they want this, so I'm not saying that this is standing in their way. I'm saying that this person, there's someone here that is still genuinely overthinking things, which is why there is this energy of possibly just going towards something anyway, despite overthinking. It's a very strange energy here. Um, but with you, with the chariot, I do want to... Let's actually look at your person. I apologize if you can hear any of that noise. I think my neighbors are moving. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too loud. We're going to pull an oracle card here for you and then for your person. Matt. Okay. The, okay, so what I'm getting here, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to pull one, one more for you here. Seduction. Okay, so... This is the craziest energy. Let me pull a main oracle card here. That one to fly out. Forgiveness. Solitude. This this is crazy, Libra, but there could be a situation. This is just for some of you because I'm picking up several different storylines, so take what resonates. But there could be an individual here, or both of you, sorry 
where you and this person are both interested in each other and you may have been seeing someone, this person may have been seeing someone, maybe you don't know about it, but it's almost like closing up those connections from the past and moving forward in this connection. That's just for some of you. You know, if you two were dating around and you all had multiple options and then you two meet and it's just deciding to move forward here or someone deciding to actually cut off their other options with quality time at the bottom of the deck. Because I'm getting here that I want to know though, why is this this is such a crazy reading. I want to know more. What's this Eight of Cups? Ten of Pentacles. Oops. I'm trying to make. Okay, 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 okay. And then I want to know more about, oops, that really wanted to fly out. Wheel of Fortune. So there is this sense you and this individual like each other and you really want to go towards something. But I'm sensing that someone here pulled away to try and figure out how they want to how they want to move forward here. For some of you, you may be thinking it's it's the sense of so take what resonates here. But you may be trying to figure out what to do here. For some of you, you may know that this person has other options, or possibly you do. But there's something around forgiveness here, about forgiving either you forgiving this person or this person forgiving you. But you may have emotionally retreated because you are not sure where this connection is going. You may be waiting for a signal from this person. I think I'm... Because this person, what I'm feeling down here is that they want this connection, but at the same time, Knight of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords, the Fool, this is a, a painful ending, then a new beginning, Empress in reverse. No more second chance. I'm, I'm sensing that this person, let's see, what is this Ten of Swords about? Three of pen this is about a third party. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh my gosh, too many popped out. <sighs> yeah. This person. is cutting out a situation there's an ending here between them and another individual okay and there's a new beginning starting for them 
a situation or person or something. Because this person does want happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. Down here. And you may not have expected this. But if you're not hearing from this person, it's because they're thinking about all this, how to move forward. They're closing out a cycle with someone here, the Empress in reverse. The false Empress basically is how I see it. When I get that, that's just how it's signified for me. Grim Reaper, third party. Because there's a lack of, Im like this needs to be balanced out and there's a lot of imbalance. This person needs to gain a bit of footing on a situation. It's the sense that this person figured out pretty quickly what it is that they wanted and now they need to close up things in their past. And I don't think you are showing this person your true feelings either. I mean, you may, for some of you, you may know how this person feels. But I'm really sensing here, it's like you want to go for this. But at the same time, you may have known that this person was involved with someone here. Whether they know it or not, or you, you know, you may have wanted something more here, but you felt like this person wasn't going to want that. So you may have retreated here in a way. You may have thought that this was just, you know, a hookup or something like that. And you may be, you may be waiting on this person to make a decision or if this is you, you may be trying to make a decision. This person may be coming in and asking you for forgiveness this month, like I said, or vice versa. But there's this energy where I'm sensing that you may have kind of emotionally retreated here because you think that this person is still dealing with someone from the past or they're not ready for something. When in reality... They're thinking about this and they're wanting to close up a cycle. I think you knew about this third party interference, so you you pulled your energy back. Even though you do like this person, you feel, for some of you, you may feel like you can't really show how you really feel. And as time goes on, it's almost the sense of figuring out how to take action, because I asked about the, the King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, allowing the situation to play out, leaving things a bit open to see how this person responds, if they are going to close out the cycle, come towards you, or if this is just something that you need to walk away from for good. But someone's coming in here, taking action, coming in and balancing the scales with you. But they did retreat at some point. And I think it's because this person needed to make a decision if they wanted to close out this cycle permanently with someone else and actually take this leap of faith with you and stop nurturing that connection that for some of them, this could have just been a dead end, a dead end anyway. But actually taking their energy towards you where they feel very optimistic about the connection or feels healthy. But this person is letting go of fears, letting go of things that no longer serve them or, you know, or vice versa, depending on how this is resonating with you. But it does look like you may be open to forgiving this person for some of you, not all of you.
okay? Because Ten of Cups, Death, the Hierophant in the reverse, Knight of Swords, and Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups, this is emotional fulfillment here. And with Death, this is indicating an actual transformation of energies. And with the Hierophant in the reverse, uh, Taurus energy, and then we have Scorpio energy with Death. This might really kind of happen out of nowhere. Um, the way that things transpire here may not be the norm. They may not feel very conventional at first. It may not be what you are used to. With the Knight of Swords in, in reverse, this could be a bit out of left field, a bit confusing, a bit all over the place. But it's still done in a confident way with this Queen of Wands. For some of you, this individual may have not wanted to commit previously. I do want to get some more information here. Because that outdated thinking, conditioning, and replaying events over and over in your head. Love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Wow. And then we have key with, uh, sorry, heart with the key at the bottom of the deck. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. Uh, let's pull one more here. But this energy is, is very transformative. It's coming together to transform the norms or what this situation had been seeing usually. What you are used to possibly receiving in this connection. Mirroring. Two could be mirroring each other here. Passion. Growth at the bottom of the deck. Someone's definitely reaching out here and taking action, but I do just just for clarification here, I want to know more about the Hierophant in the reverse. Hangman upright. Yeah, releasing oneself. This is sacrifice as well. Enlightenment. Yeah. Someone here is really thinking, analyzing. Seven, seven of pentacles, sevens are all about analysis. Um, well, not only analysis, but knowledge and things of that nature assessment seven of pentacles this person is looking at what really makes them fulfilled you know what is their happiness here and this person like i said they could be thinking about a lot overthinking a lot and there is this happiness but it's like what are you going to do about it I want to know more about this mirroring. What is this? So, there is still some heaviness in this connection because I feel like there may be two individuals here who want the other person to really kind of give them the signal here. It's going to depend for the both of you, you know, who should be taking that step or giving that signal to kind of initiate here. But what I'm sensing here, I keep saying here, um, <laughs> what I'm sensing with mirroring 
it's this feeling of wanting each other, you know, just trying to wait it out. There are these heavy, there's this heavy energy and it could have to do for some of you that someone could be dealing with some insecurities here, possibly about the past and how things played out. But someone's breaking the norms here with the Hierophant in the reverse. It's out of nowhere. It, it may not be completely thought through, but it's like this go for it anyway energy. This is what I want. And it could have been especially outdated thinking, conditioning, plain events over and over in your head. I sometimes get this with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, okay? But someone's reaching out and expressing their love here to you. Wanting to go after and nurture that Ten of Cups energy to bring fulfillment. And through that, there's this transformation of the surrounding circumstances and energy is what I'm getting. For some of you, you may have been kind of stuck with this person in cycles of passion where things really didn't continue forward in any in any deeper way, but for some reason there's actual like emotions that are being introduced here um, where it's really f like this tight emotional bond is truly felt between you two that may be transforming this mirroring cycle into something more. So I do feel like someone here is thinking of you reaching out. They're cutting through past patterns, what they're used to. They're releasing themselves from the past, looking at what truly makes them happy here, realizing that there is wish fulfillment in front of them and needing to break out of this mirroring energy and take action, that's someone here. So this is very beautiful energy, Libra. This is very beautiful energy, but this connection that's shared between you two, this emotional fulfillment that is felt between you two is very transformative. Um, it's kind of like a wake up call for both of you that this connection is very strong. But if you're not hearing from this person for now, this person is clearing away things from the past, whether that's just a regular, you know, um, burdening circumstance in their life or someone else that they were seeing involved with, things of that nature. But yeah, I definitely feel that that is you who is kind of pulling your energy back, not showing your feelings, feeling like this connection won't go farther despite you wanting it to it's that whole mirroring thing okay even though you both feel the same and trying to figure out what to do but over time wheel of fortune things are kind of bubbling and things are coming back into balance it is safe for you to love okay time to take action so that's what I'm getting for you, Libras. If this resonated with you and you would like to join me over at the extended, the link for that is in the description box below. In that extended, uh, we are going to be going over this person's feelings, their intentions, what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know. We're going to look more into the potential outcome here, you know, the long term, things like that. We're also going to take a look at some advice and guidance to help you navigate this situation a bit better. And then, of course, uh, we're also going to stop and, and dig deep into anything else that comes up along the way that could be helpful uh, for your knowledge. And then we're also going to be using uh, this deck right here, Twin Flame uh, Journey Messages, to pull a couple messages from your person, just to see what they may have wanted to tell you in the past, in the present, or even in the future. We'll actually pull one for you now, but we'll pull more of these. We're going to use a lot of other mess uh, message oracles in the reading as well. Let's do this. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Libra, this person misses you. That is what I was feeling. Um, but yeah, we're going to pull more of these 
in the extended. So if you'd like to join me over there, link for that is in the description box below. But keep watching, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek. And uh, yeah, if this resonated, please let me know in the comments. I read all my comments and really enjoy just seeing how these readings fit into your life. And of course, if you enjoy this reading, please comment, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Your support means more to me than you will ever know. And uh, yeah, that is what I have for you for now. And I will see you next time. Bye. There's some sort of wake up call about wanting to go, go towards reconciliation. Okay, forgiveness. This person could have fled. This person could have ran away. And if they're in solitude right now, not saying much, it's because they're standing their ground. We pull the lovers here. This is beautiful energy, okay? This is really about this individual realizing that this connection. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Yeah, so this person got themselves in a sticky situation is what i'm getting because they may have not because i think this person could have tried to run away regardless of this third party situation if you're dealing with one or if it's just a circumstance where they try to run off to and maybe like try to forget about you but they're realizing that you feel like home to me like I was saying, for some of you, this could be really stepping into that energy of true union here. They acknowledge that Ten of Cups energy that we saw. They acknowledge that you are their soulmate. And they are standing this ground in their connection.